Let's create your electrical engineering LinkedIn profile from scratch. For those new to my channel, my name is Nenid. I'm a manager in the power industry and I look at a lot of different LinkedIn profiles, especially when I'm hiring. Let's get started. Here we are on LinkedIn's home menu and we're gonna start from scratch and we're gonna go ahead and click on the new to LinkedIn, join now. All right, the email that I'm going to use is actually my YouTube email. Peter YT. Okay, very good. And I need to create a password. All right, since I already have a LinkedIn profile, I'm starting off from scratch. This one will be a dummy profile. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with Ned. Last name, Janovic. There's a security check that pops up. Let's go ahead and verify that. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to say that I'm in Florida. And most recent job title is going to be, if you're a student, so go ahead and select student, I would say, right there, I'm a student. Or if you actually have had any sort of internship, you might be able to say intern. But I'll go ahead and say substation design intern. And the most recent company will be Ened LLC. If you're looking for a job, then certainly I would go ahead and select, yes, I'm actively looking for a job. If you're still in school and are not ready to cross that, that chasm yet, if you will, then you can go ahead and select that you're not interested. But go ahead and select, yes, I'm actively looking for a new job. Okay, it's asking me for what kind of job I'm looking for. So if I'm just about to graduate and I don't know what industry I wanna be in, then you can go ahead and just put electrical engineer or whichever major that you are. However, if you do know which industry you want to be in, you can start using some titles from that industry. So for instance, in the power industry, there are a lot of different different roles that one could have there. And one of them could be, for instance, a substation design engineer. And that's up to you to do your homework to figure out exactly what that is. Um, but for now, let's just go ahead and use the generic electrical engineer. And then it'll ask you where. So because we're in Florida, I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple of the major cities that I would love to work in and that I know that my industry is big in. So I know for instance that Orlando has a lot of good jobs. So does Tampa, and Miami as well. And so I would just go ahead and, and select four or five different locations that are in your area, but you could even click uh, select states. So for instance, I'm also interested in Tennessee as well as in Colorado. If you're open to remote work, you can go ahead and select this. Uh, that'll be for another video on my channel, but I don't believe that you should get a remote job right out of school because you won't learn as much, nor will you make those connections at work that you desperately need as you're starting out. But for now, that's up to you. You can go ahead and click that if you want. Okay, the drop down menu is required actually on the job titles here. So let's go ahead and click select electrical engineer. Okay, so do you wanna receive alerts when uh, you're matched? So yes, go ahead, that's fine. That'll e they'll email you. Do you wanna share this with recruiters? Um, up to you, once again, it'll give you more visibility, but in my experience being on LinkedIn now for over 12 to 14 years, the recruiters will, uh, especially if you're in an industry such as the power industry, they will hound you like you would not believe. So if you are actively looking and looking aggressively, I would go ahead and say to select this, uh, share with recruiters. If not, then leave that blank. Let's go ahead and turn this on though. Okay, download the app, that's fine. You can use your phone to go ahead and scan that in if you need to. Okay, so immediately it's asking me for uh, connections of people that I know. So uh, as you can see here, I've actually made another profile here. That's actually me. So let's go ahead and connect with that one there. I did that to kind of go through this process before I made the video. And then of course there are other, other roles here. So you can start searching people at university. So let's type in uh, Florida. 
Actually, you can't. You have to look for names. Okay, so these are these will be where you look for names. I thought that you might be able to look for people at university, but for now, go ahead and skip this. Let's create the profile. Okay, now we get to the 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 home screen of LinkedIn. And there are a lot of different things here. So the very first thing you'd want to do is click on update your profile. And it's already telling you, by the way, what jobs there are uh, in the area. Well, I guess this one's in Philadelphia and this one's in Miami, et cetera, et cetera. So these companies are promoted, as you can tell here. So they're paying to be on this home screen. So they're paying good money because obviously they're hiring. They have a lot of need for engineers. And you can even see sometimes some of the, um, the salary estimates there. Okay, click on update profile. And it'll ask you, and that is the case, yes. If you have no experience, no worries, you can go through this just the same way, but just put in your educational information when we get to that section. Okay, let's add some skills. All right, now this is, this is good here because you can add some skills that the recruiters might look for. So for instance, if you're getting into the power industry, I'm using that as an example, but it could be anything. It could be communications, electronics, whatever it is you're getting into. Go ahead and find some keywords of which you should know by now. So I will go ahead and select, uh, let's say, power systems. Yep, if you took a class on that, relay protection. If that even pops up, it might. Okay, so you can actually create your own skills. Let's say you're very good at MATLAB. That sounds good too. Or perhaps uh, AutoCAD electrical. Any software, that'd be a good thing to put up there too. Uh, if you liked a specific class, put that on there. So let's say you liked uh, controls, electrical controls, you could say. Um, other things that are relevant to you. Add about five, which is what it says up there as a recommendation. So get a few in, this is not too crucial at this point. This is more for the recruiters to search for you, which that is relevant if you are indeed looking to get hired aggressively. So the way to get to your actual profile is to go ahead and click on home over here and then you'll see your name. If you have no image at this point, it'll be uh, there with a the camera symbol. So you click on your name. Now we're finally in our actual profile. All right, so the very first thing that we want to do is add a profile picture. All righty, so at this point, you should have a good picture already and a few really quick pointers. I probably need to make a video on creating an image, but take it with a, a nice background with good lighting and uh, straight on and dressed up. You know, wear, wear a suit if you're a man, if you're a woman, uh, wear something business casual and, and that should uh, convey as well. Do not wear glasses or a hat or anything or have a funny face, just nice and straight, kind of look at the camera, a little smile. I wouldn't go overly exuberant and do a big laugh like haha, you know, you don't need to do all that, just a nice little smile. And um, I actually, to have fun with this, I created a photo um, using Pick Stitch. So it's actually gonna be an AI image, some kind of fun, uh, which I'm sort of excited about here. Let's see what it looks like. There we go. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Of course, do not use an AI image. This is this is just for show and for fun. I'm having fun with this, making this video here. If it's your real profile, like I do on my real profile, you have a real image. <laughs> okay, and straighten it out. Nice there, this guy's got a nice background. Oh wait, I was at zero. There we go, nice background. And have just about the shoulders showing. You don't need uh, to really go down into the chest here. This is actually not zoomed in enough. Yeah, probably. People wanna see your face. Your face should be the dead center and should be about, I'd say right around there. Let's see here. There we go, That's, that looks about right to me. And you can adjust it, give yourself a little bit more light as well. So brightness, add the brightness if needed. There we go, looks better. Yeah, I don't know who this uh, Nenid clone lookalike guy is, but dang, close enough, I guess, right? That's the AI image, fun. Save the photo. Okay, so now that we have our image, the next thing, while we're still on the, while, while, excuse me, we're still on the, on the picture side of things, Let's go ahead and put a background. You see on your profile, this section above your image, well, that is a space to put a background image. So don't leave that blank. Put something relevant on there. So what you could do is, 
find, if you don't have a picture of you in front of, I don't know, a substation or a power plant or with a Tesla coil or in a lab or anything like that or with a circuit board or whatever else it might be or, or a, a cell tower, you can go ahead and find a stock image. It's okay. So one of my favorite places to go is on a site called Pexels and I will show you right now. Pexels, there we go. All right. So, uh, yep, sign in, et cetera, et cetera. But let's look for free photos. So why don't we type in, let's see, Tesla coil. Okay, how, how aggressive do we want to be here? Okay, oh, that's pretty good. Let's download that one. I like that. Okay, it's downloading. Very good. There's a Tesla, and that's one thing too. That's automotive electrical with the coil there, and it looks like a McLaren or something. I don't know about that one. Another good one you might uh, do is, let's say, power lines. You know, just something kind of conveying. Okay, now there's a bunch of power lines. All right, so that's that's good right there. That could work as well. This is more, of course, transmission related, but still in the energy industry. Just something that um, conveys what it is you're looking for. Let's get this one. And how about a circuit board? Okay, this could work too. There's a man there. Um, yeah, okay, I kind of like this one. And then finally, let's do a substation because I'm curating the profile for somebody in the power industry. Okay, there we go. I don't know if I like having any people in there, but how about, uh, sounds a little dark, but I think it'll kind of cut off. Okay, let's do this one. Okay, very good. So now we have our images downloaded and I'm gonna go ahead and click on the camera icon here and let's upload a photo. I think it might have been this one here. Let's say it's a little bit slow on me. Ah, good, yep, it did, it did zoom in on that. All right, so there you can kind of see. Let's line it up. I don't want this black building in the way there. It'll be kind of moody with the sunset, but I like it. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we can zoom in a little bit. Obviously, it's power related. It's a substation. And let's go with it. Bam. That looks so much better. Okay. So let's recap. What do we have right now? We have our background image, our profile picture. Nice and well lit, right? That's an AI one as we discussed. Your name is right there and it tells your previous title, okay? So here are a couple things that we could do here. This is actually your headline, all right? This is the company that you've worked at before. If you have none, then leave that blank, it's okay. But let's click on this little pencil icon here and let's edit this. Okay, first name, last name, additional name, fine. Headline, so this is interesting. So with the headline, you can just say, you can add a little bit more there, okay? And you'll see some profiles that are nicely developed. Um, a good formula to go with is to have your job title plus relevant keywords plus a unique proposition. If you need to think of a unique statement, you can go ahead and go on ChatGPT and just type in a unique headline for an electrical engineer on LinkedIn. It'll spit out a bunch of different ones. So for me, I'm going to put substation design intern. I've got a couple keywords there, substation, design, and intern. This is my headline right now, at, okay. And then I'm gonna use a little line separator there and I'll just write energizing tomorrow. I kinda like that. But you can go with many different things. So this is if you have some experience. If you don't have any experience, then you might want to say aspiring Electrical engineer. So instead of that, you would just say aspiring electrical engineer and then energizing tomorrow. You can have a little tagline there, okay? Well, let's put that on there. All right, and that's our current position. Let's click on save. Let me see what else is down here. Nope, let's click on save. Okay. Actually, I like this better. Aspiring electrical engineer detail-oriented and eager to learn. Okay, there we go. If you have experience, then go ahead and put something like, in this case, we're still in the power industry, substation project lead. Uh, you're, not eager to, you're not eager to learn, you've already been learning. You could say something like energizing tomorrow. Okay, there we go. But let's go with the other one. I kind of like that better.
And you can get AI suggestions, but you have to pay for premium. Instead, just go to ChatGPT as we discussed. Okay. All right, let's see what it looks for. Oh, industry, okay. Okay, is it there? Power engineering, no, solar, hydroelectric power, transmission. Yeah, okay, so find out which industry that your company is currently at if you have one. If not, um, you should know which industry it's in. So search for that, you have to select from the drop down menu. Let's see what it looks like real quick. Okay, yep, it's trying to upsell me there. You don't need to click on that. Okay, there we go. My name, background, da da da, where I am. Okay, open to add profile section. Let's click on this next, okay? We have to build out our profile. All righty. So in the about, okay, so in the about, in the about, you want to talk a little bit about your background. And if you're a new student, if you're new to the industry that you're going to be entering, write a little bit about why you chose this major and why you want to go into this industry. So for instance, here's what I would write. All right, for the sake of time, I'm just going to copy and paste what I've already written and we'll go over it line by line. Okay. So I was first drawn to the power industry through one of my college professors at, at uh, EEU. It's a made up school. Um, I then worked as an, a research assistant and assemble transformers by hand. That's true. I have a passion for learning and a hunger to make a difference. Some of my strengths are that I'm detail oriented, hardworking, and I'm good and I'm a good communicator. My goal is to be a respected professional in the power industry who is valuable to the team I'm working with. Please feel free to reach out to me as I'm always excited to explore new opportunities and collaborate on impactful projects. Okay. So first you want to write about your background. Okay, so you see here the first two, three sentences. How did you end up at this university? How did you end up at this internship, this RA? How are you wanting to be in this industry? Okay, then talk about some of your strengths here. Add three or four, right? I did mention a couple. Um, what is your goal, right? What, wh why do you have a LinkedIn profile? What are you trying to do here? Are you trying to network? Do you want to enter a certain space? What is it that you're trying to do? So I have a goal. And then finally, a call to action. This is huge. A CTA, call to action. So here's my call to action. Please feel free to reach out to me as I'm always excited to explore new opportunities and collaborate on impactful projects. Okay. Those are all, these can be rewritten, but go ahead and take a stab at it. If you need help, ask a friend or use some of these online AI resources we've talked about, and they'll give you some good suggestions. But here's the formula. Once again, your background, some strengths, your goal, and a call to action. Very good. Okay, skills again, this was uh, at the beginning of the profile, we can go over it again. Uh, something in your industry that you'd wanna be and that, that would help. So you could say problem solving. Okay, there's one. So one, another one you could say power systems, which you've already done, okay? Let's go with energy storage because actually that was what I focused on in my undergraduate and graduate program and let's type in power utilities it's not really a skill um, but these keywords will pop up if recruiters are looking for you once again you're building your profile this is to game the search engine so that people will find you better you can elaborate on these you don't have to let's click on done for now okay and now the profile section let's click on core again education Okay, so in education, just type in your school. So let's go with Nikola Tesla. Yeah, for my Serbian roots there. Very good. Okay, degree. And yeah, type in, you know, what you are. Bachelor's electrical. No, it's not going to find it. Oh, I misspelled it, of course. Yeah, okay. Bachelor's degree. Okay, I guess that's it. Field of study. Electrical. Yep, and electronics engineering, start date. Okay, and we can just, all right, let's just do this real quick. Uh, go ahead and we'll say 2024. Uh, yeah, if you have a good GPA, I'll put it on there. If not, you don't have to, but let's say we had a good one and let's just go with 3.4. Don't put it on there on second thought. I would not do that. Okay, description and all this, other activities you've done. Sure, you know, let's just write IEEE because everybody should be a part of that. And let's say that you played basketball and you like video. Uh, I don't know if I put video games on there at this point here, but any other societies that are relevant to you, um, it, that would be a good thing to put on there.
Okay, now other people, you can see that must have gone to the school, I can tell by all these Serbian names. So if you type in your school, you might be able to find some of your classmates here. It's not a bad idea to connect with them because then, you know, there's some, there's some more social proof there for you if you have a few more uh, people that you're connected to. But let's skip this for now. Now that we have that down, let's add a few more sections. There are so many different ones, you certainly do not need to do all of these. These are ones that I'm recommending that me as a hiring manager that is constantly looking at people's profiles and I'm looking for them to join my team, I'm filtering them out, I'm looking at the resumes, but then of course I do go on LinkedIn, you'd be surprised. A lot of managers, I'd say most of them, do check your LinkedIn profile too and your Facebook and other things too. So I'm looking for a couple things. So I would wanna know also what other projects you've done. So if you click on add profile here, go down to add projects. This is a great one. Okay, so you might wanna think about a couple different things that you've done that are relevant. So maybe it was a, a lab that you did and you kind of went above and beyond. Um, or maybe it was something you did in your spare time. Or maybe you modeled something um, using any software. Or maybe you actually hand built something. So in my case, I actually did hand build uh, for transformers. So let's go ahead and write hand built for uh, I really can't type very well right now, what's going on? And these were uh, 120 to 480 volt transformers. And this was some of my earliest experience. It was a really good, um, good experience for me to have, get some hands on, use a winding machine. It was really cool, how to calculate out how many turns we needed. So I'll write a small description along with a PhD engineer assisted and built for and then if you understand transformers you'll understand what an ei transformer is it's just the core configuration there's an e and then an i nah, anyway but um to test the harmonics of a three to five phase system okay Nothing, if you have images, that'd be a great time to add that. People, it, 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 a picture is worth a thousand words. So I do have some images. I'm not gonna find them on my phone. They're somewhere in there. But um, yeah, you can even you know write when you started that and when you, you know, other contributors. Um, you can find somebody that you worked with on this project. So add a project or two. I think it's really kind of kind of nice to see that you know, you've done some extracurricular activities. So add it in there. It doesn't have to be a huge thing either, but just show that you are willing to you know be proactive and dive deeper into your field and this goes true for every engineering so an easy one of course is if you're doing computer science or any sort of programming you know what code have you written put on there what you've done that's an easy one for uh, for that degree in our case here you know what did you do in your labs uh, what was your senior design project that'd be a good one to put on there as well so yeah things like that and now the next one is going to be courses. Uh, I do want to know what courses. Obviously, I understand that if you've finished uh, your double E degree, I sort of know which courses, but which ones really stuck out to you, right? So select two of your most relevant ones. So for instance, in my case, I would say a power systems course. Power systems two, meaning obviously I, that was a second one. I don't know the number, let's just say ENG 5304 and associated with, uh, yep, where you studied, bam. Okay, write that on there, because that's gonna tell me if I'm looking at your profile, those two stuck out to you, those are the ones that you remember. And those are the ones that are relevant for me. A power systems class, if I'm looking uh, to have uh, somebody join my team, that will be very relevant. So let's add, go ahead and add one more, and now it's down here. So you can just scroll down to the bottom and, collect, and, select, and click on this plus icon. Let's do electromagnetics, that's always a good one. ENG 6304. These are made up numbers, of course, but it gets the point across. Yeah, so I would do probably two courses. I think if you did a third one, it would be below the fold here, so you wouldn't even see it. There are the projects and everything. And the final thing that I would add to your profile is a recommendation. So hopefully you've been doing your homework at school making some good connections with your student friends and your colleagues and everything, but also with the professors. Okay, so maybe 
uh, you started out a class and you were failing, totally failing. And then you went up to a professor and you were getting a D or maybe even an F. You got some help and then you moved that up to a C or a B. You know what? That professor is going to remember that you had a nice turnaround and that you took the initiative to go over there and talk to them. The, they have hours for these reasons, guys and gals. They have them because it is their job to make sure that you are getting what you paid for in your education. So go and visit them. And then honestly, you might have made a good connection. And it's a simple ask. Hi, Professor Smith. Listen, I really enjoyed your class. I was wondering if I could send you a recommendation uh, for uh, to write something up for me on LinkedIn. It'll just take you about five minutes. Yeah, sure, that's fine. So that's the time to do it. So this is where you reach out to your professors. If you've had a good internship, you reach out to any of your managers or even colleagues and coworkers. Uh, you could even reach out to some of your classmates, but it doesn't give me as much clout or it doesn't give me as much proof as somebody who was, you know, overseeing what you were doing. Okay, so here's how we do that. Go to add profile section and then we go to recommended and then it's recommendations. So you see here, who do you want to ask? So you have to have a real person. So let's say you want to ask Elon Musk. I don't know if he's going to be on here. So you already have to have them as a connection before you can ask. But this is how you do that. And I really recommend that if you have a nice recommendation, it gives me some proof. It's, it's like the review on a restaurant or something that you might see on Google or any other business or, or let's say you're staying at an Airbnb. It's that social proof that you want there. And finally, the last thing you might want to add is to edit your contact info. So go ahead and click on profile section and you can see all the different areas that we have that we can plug in here. Volunteer experience, publications. So go through these if any of them are relevant and add them. So if you have good test scores, add that. Languages, that's great too. Uh, organizations, causes, that's it's all good stuff to kind of beef up your profile. But in the contact info section, this is actually kind of a cool thing. There's your email listed, of course. There's your profile URL and you can actually change that. I, I wouldn't worry about that too much right now. Um, phone number, if, if you want to do that. Address, I don't know if I'd put on there, but the big thing to me is a website. So if you have a website built, uh, do that. So, okay, I, you know, I could add my YouTube channel or whatever here, but that would be a good thing here because if you add it, then it'll show up on my profile if somebody were to contact you on contact info. There we go. So there you have it, guys. I hope that helps. It should not take too long. The biggest thing is honestly getting that image sorted out and really just, you know, comb your hair, put on a nice shirt. If you don't have a suit or a tux or anything like that, don't wear a tux. That's too much. I'm kidding. If you don't have a suit, that's fine. But just a nice button up shirt, get a little smile, clean up if you have to. Don't wear any glasses. Don't wear a hat. Get your profile picture up there. Uh, clean it up a little bit and, uh, you know, add a couple things on here that show me that, hey, you've spent a little bit of time on this, get some connections and go through the training just like we did and try to get a recommendation. If you can do that, I think your profile is in the top 1% of anybody just graduating from college. So don't downplay your LinkedIn profile, the professors, I'm sorry, the hiring managers, whoever is going to be looking at your profile, they are most likely going to see this. So if you want a custom profile name, it's actually right here. Um, yeah, you can personalize the URL right there. So you can, add, you can add that to your resume. And I do recommend that because then it means that you really have nothing to hide. And if the manager sees your resume, they might want to see something else here about you that is not listed on the resume. I hope that helps. If you liked what we went over here, check out some of my other videos that are going to pop up and hopefully they will help you in your career as an engineer. Thank you. See you next time.